Coming up, some of the other news of the day. An attack on the front lines cost him his vision, but today, his mission continues. A wounded veteran finds a new purpose, continuing his mission from the home front. This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 9. In tonight's cover story, vision without sight. A Chicago area soldier blinded in battle in Iraq sees a way to continue serving our country. Because of him and other brave veterans, the mission continues. 2008, Steve Baskus was serving the Army in Iraq. At 22 years old, he was exactly where he wanted to be. And I love my country, and I really wanted to help out. A camera crew caught Steve's squad in action. When we were serving over there in Iraq, you get so close to, you know, your, your buddies and, and, and the work that you're doing, you know, you're, you're just trying to accomplish the, the, the mission. His best friend by his side in the Humvee, the lead vehicle, transporting and protecting a general in the combat zone. They came under attack. Our lead vehicle was struck by a explosive device. An EFP, explosive foreign projectile, designed to punch through armored vehicles. It killed one of my buddies, Staff Sergeant Victor Cota. It went through him, and then everything else uh, basically hit me. A little piece went right through my temple. It went through my right eye. It blew it out, basically ruptured, and then uh, scrambled my sinuses because it was traveling behind my face, of course, and then blew out my left eye. Steve was conscious at first, not knowing his friend was gone, knowing they had to get to safety and that his fellow soldiers would care for him. They saved my life. Then everything went black. The first thing Steve remembers is waking up at Walter Reed Army Medical Center a week later. They told me I was blind and most likely would be blind for the rest of my life. He had nerve damage in his arm, shrapnel still in his face. His world completely changed, yet his heart remained the same. From that point on, I was looking at life like, man, I got to live my life to the fullest because, uh, you know, Victor can't anymore. Never succumbing to a dark day, Steve began physical therapy, then training. Holding on to hope like he grips the guardrails of the treadmill, he kept moving forward. Within months, he completed a half Ironman. 1.2 swim, 56 mile bike, 13.1 mile run. He ran the Chicago Marathon and continues to soar. On Veterans Day, I summited the third tallest volcano in uh, Mexico. Amazing accomplishments, but Steve had a nagging feeling. He still wanted to serve. This man helped him find a way. Andrew Traver is the Veterans Outreach Coordinator for The Mission Continues. He read Steve's story and knew he had to get him involved. You know, he's an indomitable spirit. He has a lot of courage. He has a lot of personality. And he doesn't shy away from going after what he wants to accomplish. In the same spirit Steve embodies, the mission continues, provides a place for wounded vets. Not a charity, but a challenge. And that there are opportunities within the mission continues to help them to continue to serve and to show to them that they have true value to society and they can still continue to do many great things, regardless of what their disabilities might be. The vets get a fellowship to work at a place of their choice for 14 weeks. They engage other wounded soldiers, nurture children through the Big Brothers Big Sisters program, and in Steve's case, hit the river, encouraging disabled veterans of the wars on terror to wash away their wounds, whitewater rafting. And volunteering for a period of time is, is almost like serving the country in a different way. You know? And this is a way to say, hey, you know what? Come on out. I mean, society still wants you. We appreciate what you've done. We appreciate what you've sacrificed. Let us help you. You can't change what's happened. You just got to you got to move on and, and try to you know, live, live a good life. Steve is such an incredible inspiration. The mission continues started in St. Louis. There are chapters in Austin, Texas, Fresno, California, Baltimore, Maryland, and now one beginning here in Chicago. The goal is to have them in every city so everyone coming home from the wars on terror has an opportunity to heal, help, and be helped. If you know someone who would benefit, would like to donate, or just find out more information about the mission continues, log on to our website, WGNTV.com. And one other positive footnote, Steve is headed to Mexico tomorrow. Tomorrow he's getting married this weekend. Aww. He has never actually seen his bride, Aww. but has found the love of his life. Oh, so how tremendous is that? Aww.
It's so ball tingly all he over. Just, this is one of those stories that just touches you in such a way that you know you will be different forever because of, of his example. Exactly. Absolutely. Fantastic. Great story.